Welcome back, everybody, to the No Money Spent series. This is going to be the fourth episode. If for whatever reason you are new to the channel, saw it on the recommended, please be sure to subscribe. I got more videos coming like this. We're starting out with some daily moments. Again, remember to do your daily moments because they are very easy to do. They take almost no time and you'll get some really good cards. So if you missed out last month on that Evolution Giambi, he is back. And we also got this brand new pack that would give us an Evolution Madison Bumgarner or a Evolution Matt Kemp. And of course, at the very end, you get this Gary Sheffield. So SDS is being a little lenient with the daily moments. So if you miss a few days, don't worry about it. Now, if you're just starting now, it might be a little close, but let's take a look at both of these Evolution programs. Uh, looks like they're structured very similar to the other one. Matt Kemp, not as good as his 97, obviously, last year, but it's the same card art and the same general concept. Going to play really well against lefties and be a solid bench bat to start the year out. Let's take a look at Mad Bum as well. This card, I think, is the better of the two because it's a starting pitcher and you can move him around a little bit in your rotation. You can have a really nice cut fastball that can be utilized, but... We're not going to be able to do those daily moments for a little while, so we're going to go ahead and start out the showdown, and Keston here he hits an absolute tank. That's a grand slam, too. You love to see it. We end up getting 16 runs in a showdown final round. That's actually very difficult to do because you have to hit a grand slam. So if you think about it, it's actually not that many per division. I mean, it's 10 showdowns. They're about a half hour apiece, give or take. So it's going to take about five hours to go ahead and complete a division, which is not a whole lot at all. And if you do the math there, it's going to average about an hour per card. So that's really not that bad. Uh, and then we got this one here. Not very impressive, but we got it done. Jack Flaherty, not one of the more difficult ones. Uh, I would say the one I've struggled with the most, honestly, is Patrick Corbin, and that's, I guess, kind of odd because he shouldn't be that difficult to do, but he just trips me up with his very slow pitches. This is some great AI from the CPU here. Instead of trying to go for home, Moustakis goes for the out at first base, and we end up winning the showdown on a no play. On a fielder's choice, we end up winning the game. That almost never happens, but it's kind of funny that it happened there. And that is Crush. Luis Robert did not miss that. I love the bat flip. Man, you hate to see Luis Robert getting injured, honestly. That's so sad to see. Hopefully he can get healthy for the playoffs, and I do think the White Sox will be in the playoffs, especially the way they've been playing now. But that team could be really dangerous with Eloy and Robert if they get back in time and their progression continues to go the way that we expect it to. Now we're going to go ahead and trade all these vouchers in. This is before SDS added the ability to add five at once, so I had to rot away here and keep going and exchanging these vouchers. So I would say it's definitely worth it to go division by division, and that's what I'm doing here. Even though I didn't want David Fletcher, uh, I did want the packs that came right before him, and of course, I also, isn't a bad idea to just go ahead and complete all of them at once. So that's my opinion there. You know, you can go get the players that you want if you don't plan on completing the whole collection, but I do. I really want to get that Jackie Robinson, uh, his 99 last year signature played so well for me. So I really wanted to get that. It's also kind of cool that they're giving out uh, these uniforms through Team Affinity. Uh, I might end up wearing them eventually, but for now I'm going to keep using my custom Graves flashback uniforms. Uh, these are not great, but they're solid for collections, I guess. Just that lower part of collections is going to save you, I don't know, a couple thousand stubs over time. But we're going to go ahead and rip all of these packs. Also, the Legends of Flashback cards kind of interesting as well. I don't see a whole lot of them being used on main squads, but hey, on a theme team, if you want to make one of those, even though there's not really a benefit to a theme team, you know, solid cards. We got 15 Team Affinity packs. Uh, I believe a lot of these were from, yeah, they were all from the AOS, so that's pretty good there. 15 Team Affinity packs. You'll probably get about 60 or 70 before you're done. 
so solid I don't know why I couldn't do the math in my head and again even if you're only getting silvers you can either sell them for more stubs or just save them and put them away for collections uh, it kind of depends on what you want to do but regardless these are free cards from free packs and of course you're still even if you don't pull a diamond you're still guaranteed the 88s that you get of course at the end the 42 series players and then you can get Minoso, Larry Doby, and then eventually Jackie Robinson. Luis Patino, uh, not too solid there. But that's pretty solid. We go ahead and get a diamond player. Obviously, I'm trying to reel in the big fish here, but I don't know that it's going to happen. It's a pitcher. They got their glove out. So now we are turning for the goat. And it's Trevor Bauer, so not bad, but, you know, obviously he goes for less than most 88s because he's on the Dodgers and there's such a deep collection, right? Uh, an 88 in a worse team would do a lot better, but you know what? That's a solid 20K. We'll take a 20K when we can get him. That was pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. First diamond of the year. I love that animation, but let's see if we can't get another. Did we just get back-to-back -back max breeds? I definitely did not realize that. I think we did. I did not realize that when I was opening the packs, but wow. We get another diamond. Again, first and second diamond of the year coming in a span of minutes. And now we get another pitcher here. Who is it going to be? Of course, we're looking for DeGrom. And it's Max Scherzer. That's another good pitcher. Last year, this would have been an absolute amazing pull because he was a 90 plus and he went for over 100K. This year, as an 88, it's still solid, okay? It's still a solid pull. He's gonna go for more than some other diamonds. Definitely not the worst one you could get. Again, he's gonna go for about 20K. Now we got three more packs until we go ahead and claim our 388 overall 42 series players double golds there for the a's we'll take that that's gonna help with the collection ryan presley there in our final pack we see another blue flare this is kind of crazy and a little bit lucky we got the dupe can we go for trout it is a hitter so we could get mike trout here i'm not all too familiar with the animations if they're any different And that's a really good pull, Nolan Arenado there. Honestly, I'm really excited for this because he is pretty much the gatekeeper now of the NL Central. So he goes for a lot of stubs. Boom. We'll take Jordan Alvarez too, of course. He, I, he played so well for me in Showdown. I can't wait to use that card. Boom. We also got Joey Gallo. I haven't been nearly as successful with him this year, but we have him. And we also have David Fletcher, but that Jordan Alvarez is an absolute hitter, so he's going in the lineup. Uh, we're going to figure it out. So we'll move Gallo to third base, and we'll go ahead and put Kana on the bench. And now, let's put Jordan in right field. We got amazing hitting stats now on two of our three outfielders. And of course, we're going to be selling Nolan Arenado. If you thought for a second I wasn't selling Nolan Arenado at 82k. I am 100% doing that. Later in the year, I might look at that Ernie Banks, and he's definitely something to consider because he's an amazing division reward. And he's not behind nearly as many stubs as some of the other good ones. But for now, I'm just going to sell all three of my diamonds and not worry about it. Just take the stubs, see where I'm at. Who knows, maybe we'll do some investing for the roster update that came out, well, today when I'm voicing this over. Who knows? But for now, we'll sell those three, take our stubs, and while we're at it, I'm actually going to take a look at the quote-unquote gatekeepers of the live series. These are all the 90 pluses. If you don't know, 90 pluses have 
much higher pull odds or much lower pull odds i suppose than other diamonds uh, that's why you see that sort of exponential or very high rise i know i use exponential wrong there very high rise on these cards in comparison to say 89s uh, that's because their pull odds are i think one in ten rarer i think don't, again i don't quite know about that but they are much more rare i'm just going off the odds they give us for stub sales we're also going to put in an order for grayson rodriguez here uh, we'll see how this card performs he looks solid uh, we'll put him in the rotation and now we only have one more gold in our rotation the bullpen's still a little bit suspect but we're gonna hop back in my goodness will smith just uncorks on a baseball i have had jack flaherty's number this episode and that didn't change there will smith with a no doubt shot that's another showdown done and as you can see the card sold and now we're at 170,000 stubs this is just a reminder to do your daily moments uh, i'm just going to show how quickly you can do these i'm not going to make any cuts between me starting and ending this moment just to show you how quickly you can get these moments done because you truly can get them done in almost no time at all this one admittedly is a little more simple than some of the other ones they've had i know you had to get like 10 strikeouts in a game so obviously that is going to be a little bit more time consuming but you really can get these done in maximum five to ten minutes As you can see we're loading in here we got albert pujols and we just have to get a base hit again i'm gonna be on a very low difficulty throws first pitch oh out and we're not going to be able to do anything with that obviously so we'll wait and see the second pitch now from graveman and boom perfect perfect down the line and that's our hit that is how long it takes to do a daily moment that is it if it was an extra base hit we also would have completed the moment uh, so it took us one swing it took us two pitches and just like that we're done speaking of done this showdown run is also done reese hoskins with a bomb Again, if you're not quite sure how to do showdowns, maybe you haven't played last year or are not quite familiar with how to do them, uh, my last video did a kind of brief explanation of how to do them. And this one here is also victory against Herman Marquez. Honestly, it's a treat to play against this card because it's not very good and you're in Coors Field, so the balls just fly. Joey Gallo hitting a home run you'll love to see it so again we're also grinding xp while doing showdown now you might not get as much for other modes or get as much as other modes but again you're still getting a solid amount of xp this one right there easily done i accidentally opened the highlights but easily done there took us almost no time to get another 1500 xp and the stubs are starting to add up speaking of xp let's check in on our first inning program progress we are 343 out of 350k and as you can see i'm lining up that valenzuela a little bit but first let's do some more showdowns to grind some xp and then of course grind out some 42 series cards that one is going to be an easy gapper for kesson here and an easy showdown victory for me i kind of went on a roll with herman marquez Max Muncy commits a crime on Jose Berrios. That is a no doubt grand slam. Are you kidding me, Muncy? That is one of the cards I definitely want to get in the near future because he has just been balling for me. Muncy cards always good in this game, especially when you look at his power. Oh man, that's a good card. But I'm not going to start with the NL West. We're actually going to look towards the AL Central because they have a few cards that I really like. The first one is I really like the friend Mal Reyes. I think that's a really good card. Barrios would be nice to round out the rotation. And then of course, Nico Goodrum is fantastic utility man that you can pretty much play anywhere and everywhere. And probably the most important card that I would get from this division is Salvador Perez. As you know, the catcher position is very thin uh, at the start of the year and really throughout most of the year. So to get a card like Salvador Perez is really nice to have. He's got pop, 
He's a good fielder. You're not going to get ran on that much. And that's really what I'm going for in this division. I also got Tim Anderson, who so far has been pretty good for me in the showdowns that I've played with him. And yeah, we're just rounding out the team. And again, I am competing, completing divisions all at once because I think that's the most efficient way to get it done. As you can see though, we're only 60% of the way through. I still have four more showdowns to complete, but for now, we're just gonna speed through these extra packs because uh, there's not really anything interesting in here. Unlockables, you know what you're getting. But again, I do think it's cool that SDS gives these out. Not that I will be using them anytime soon, but my favorite thing is definitely the uniforms. A lot of these are just clean. I really like those White Sox ones. So now we're going to take a look at these flashback cards, and we are going to see a couple good cards. Brady Sizemore, of course, I had to get him. He's a new legend. The other one I wanted to get, Kelvin Herrera. He's really good for the bullpen. His cards are really solid because he's got a ton of ELO and a solid pitch mix. We'll also take Shane Green, just boost up that bullpen a little bit. Uh, if you saw earlier, it looked a little rough. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these cards. The first card we're going to take is Salvador Perez. I was, you know, high praise on him, so of course I was going to take him. And then the next card that we end up going for in this division is going to be Nico Goodrum. I mean, he can play anywhere. He's a really good card. So we're going to put these relievers into the bullpen. We're almost at an all-gold bullpen. And we, we could be in an all-gold bullpen if I wanted to take out of Eno out, but I really don't. Uh, we'll go ahead and take him out. Tyler Stevenson is now gone, and now we have an all-diamond starting lineup. You'll love to see it. That is awesome. And now our bench is full of diamonds, except for D. Gordon, who you might even consider a diamond. He's a very good gold card at the very least. And this is the card I probably am also thinking about getting next. Keston Heria, an absolute beast at second base, especially righty-righty. Uh, the card just performs, so definitely thinking about him. And that is a card I will be getting very soon. Fran Mal Reyes unloads on the curveball that is going at a measly 69 miles an hour. That's nice, but we're completing showdown. And again, all of this is for these 42 series cards and eventually Jackie Robinson, Larry Doby, Minnie Minoso. I do want to get those cards, but for now I have to remain patient. And speaking of patience, we waited and April Monthly Awards came. There's a lot of good cards in there. Vladdy, Shohei, Corbin Burns, and of course, this Lightning Buxton who is incredible. Amazing fielding, amazing speed, quite literally a five tool player coming out in April. Just taking a look at some of these tops now. Prices, they're they're decent. They definitely went up in price. So if you invested in tops now, good job. Uh, if you didn't, I did not invest in tops now. I definitely should have, but I didn't. So I kind of got skunked there. That's a nice investment opportunity in the future. Do know you have a very short window to sell them because eventually the cards will get flooded on the market a little bit. This is because SDS puts the packs in the program itself and really that ends up tanking the prices in the long run or at least getting them back to normal so you got to make sure if you do invest you sell quickly kyle lewis delivering again i'm telling you this card is underrated i don't think enough people are looking at it as a truly good card because again you can play a little bit of defense in the outfield so you love to see that now we're up to 190k stubs and we are up to once we turn all these vouchers in, 100% on the AL Central Team Affinity. That is very exciting. That is now two divisions done out of six. So that's a third of the way done through Stage 1 Team Affinity. That sounds kind of crazy to me, but it's true. And overall, I'm not entirely sure what division I'm going to go for next. Because again... Keston Heary is an option. Max Muncy is an option. I've also been looking at Anthony Santander as an option. Uh, really, the only division I'm not looking at right now is the NL East, in all honesty. One of the most competitive divisions in baseball, but the cards just haven't been that good. So as you can see here, we have gotten 100% in the AL Central team affinity. And at the end, you get a bunch of packs. You get 10 
team affinity packs at the end so we're gonna go ahead and save those packs for a rainy day for now we're just gonna go ahead and get Fran Ma who I think is very good and very underrated Tim Anderson who if you look at the stats against lefties in the speed can be a really solid bench bat and then of course the final card in this division Barrios by no means a bad card he has a slurve which is a really dirty pitch but I don't know, none of the pitchers in this Team Affinity program really wowed me, but a lot of the hitters did way more than that. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and put in Tim Anderson at second, uh, Roberto Alomar, and a little bit of murky water right now. So we'll go ahead and put in Tim Anderson. I also think Tim Anderson's better than Alomar uh, in this game. So we're also, with the introduction of Fran, I'm going to go ahead and sell Jason. I don't even think I played a game with Jason. I just kind of had him as a placeholder. And now we look at the first inning program. We're done. We got easily over 350K. But of course, I'm going to save my decision for the next video. Maybe even another video after that. But just another reminder before the video ends. Do your daily moments. Get that Gary Sheffield. Because again, it's a free card. And you'll take it take free cards this is the way the lineup's looking it's the way the rotation's looking we've officially eradicated golds from the rotation anyways thanks for watching i'm out peace